Hi there, my name's Vince from My Mate Vince, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can spot fake stamps. These are UK stamps from Royal Mail, and as you can see, counterfeit stamps, invalid stamp, 100%. These are fake. Now, background is I bought something on eBay for my son. After about a week, it never arrived, even though it said it was shipped, and then a few days after that, this arrived. Sorry, there is a fee to pay before we can deliver your item, and it said unpaid postage, £3.50. And I thought, wow, has the seller really forgot to put stamps on it? Anyway, I contacted, contacted the seller and he apologized. He said he bought the stamps from Amazon and it turns out they were fake. So he refunded me £3.50. Now, up until maybe 48 hours ago, I knew nothing about fake stamps, but I've been doing a bit of research into them and it's kind of fascinating. What I love is the security features that go into the real ones that you would never notice. I've been handling stamps for years and I've never really thought about the security that's gone into them. And that's what this video is about, how to spot a fake one. If you go onto the Royal Mail website, because if you think, I wonder if my stamps are fake or not, because I got them for a really good deal on eBay or Amazon, and this is what it says. It says, genuine stamps will have the following anti-fraud features, die cuts within the body of the stamp. So let's zoom into these fake ones and let's see if they have what raw Mail say they should have. Have they got die cuts within the body of the stamp? They have. Can you see these bits here? Here and here. And what that means is these are self-adhesive, so they're little sticky stamps. If you go to peel this off, this should remain on the thing that it's stuck to. So that's one little feature to stop people trying to reuse the stamps if they haven't been franked, haven't been marked, you know, cancelled. So uh, the next thing, the words Royal Mail printed in special ink across the surface of the stamp. Well, sure enough, look here. Royal Mail all the way across. Oh yeah, well it must be real. It's got Royal Mail written on it. Okay, we'll go into that more in a bit. Next thing, wider oval perforations along both sides close to the base of the stamp. Here and here. You can see we have got the wider perforations. And lastly, it says books and sheets of stamps will have secure laminate underprint featuring the words Royal Mail. Well, we can't tell that from here, but if you look at proper real stamps, they're, uh, what they're stuck to will have Royal Mail stuck to them. You can see it says Royal Mail, Royal Mail, and then upside down Royal Mail, Royal Mail, then Royal Mail in different, uh, different size as well. And what's interesting is, as well, this is another way to tell fake ones. Sometimes the fake ones won't go across the... Uh, perforated bits here so it will be like a new print on here and a different print on here while you can see this is all flowing right the way through okay so according to raw mail these should be real these are obviously fake and it's really easy to spot when you start looking closely so how should we do this should i get the real ones and put them next to it and then do you want to have a look at both of them and then you can spot yourself well you can see how many differences you can see i can find some differences maybe you can find more maybe we can even look under the microscope it might be quite fun so now these are the real ones that i bought earlier today well if I'm honest with you, when you look at the print in here, straight away you might think that this is better because this seems to have dots and stuff all over it. But when you start to look at the definition, and we can do this under a microscope later, can you see there's more detail? Look at the hair. Can you see on the queen, you can see that the, you can see the hair looks much more detailed and that's not on here. But unless you had one to compare with, would you really tell the difference? It might be hard. The easiest way I think to tell the difference is the back ground print is completely and utterly different. This one has about 13 prints going up it. This has about nine. And this is almost like uh, horizontal. This is a full on wave going up and down. So if you have a look here now, can you see? Look at this, this is the fake one. It's just got raw mail here like that. Don't get me wrong, it's nicely done. But it looks nothing like that. Look at that. Can you see the way this goes up, down, up like a full on wave? While this is just like a uh, ever so slight hill. Yeah? As well as that, can you see where it's one here? I'm just shining the light. Can you see the Royal Mail bit doesn't go through the first, the, the one here? It stops, doesn't it? This is printed on top of that. But have a look at the real one. Can you see the Royal Mail goes through it? Can you see it goes through it? Yeah. What else can you spot? Have a look at the perforations. Can you see the perforations here? All are cut, so they're perforated and then they're cut nice and straight. Look at these, they're much bigger. They almost go to a point. And you might think, well, they're just different stamps. Well, look here on all the other stamps, even these 10p ones, can you see the perforations are cut? 
So nice cut. So you've got flat edges here, while here you've got a tiny flat edge. They're just much longer than these ones here. These are cut short. If you look how deep that goes, that goes a lot deeper. So that's different. The uh, Look in here, the font's different as well. Look at the way the G's done here. Can you see the G is flat? The whole thing from here to here looks less than on here. Let's have a look at the second class one, see if it's the same. Yeah, can you see it's, it's uh, hold on. This is different font again. Hmm. But you can really see the definition. I mean, look at the lips on the queen. They don't look right. Can you see these look like lips? You can see the nostril. Here it's just not as clear, is it? It's not as clear at all. And there's one other thing that I think is probably the easiest way for Royal Mail to check. If you get yourself a UV light, and if you shine it on all stamps, going back, I think, for like the last 30, 40, 50 years maybe, they have like uh, phosphor on them. So you can see here it's a luminous on these bits here and also these bits here. While well, look at the fake, there's nothing on it at all. So I'll tell you what, let's turn off the lights and I'll show you a variety of different stamps, even, even, the che you know, even cheaper, even these ones here, which are not even self-adhesive. Even these ones will have the phosphor lines on them. 5P ones, let's go all the way down to a penny. So, you know, even the penny stamp here has uh, security features on it. Let me just turn off the lights. So watch now, it really will become obvious. So these ones here, can you see now? You can clearly see left and right. And I believe this is how they sort them because different stamps will have different uh, bands on them. You can see here, the edges have them. This one here is on the edge. This one here, there's nothing. There's nothing on there at all. Uh, go to the 10p ones again. Look at that, you can really see them. And if you were to take these out into the light, you can also see them. Just out of interest, these are like Christmas ones, yet they still have them. Look at the edges. Can you see they're lighting up here and here? They're glowing, basically. Yeah. And if you were to take them out into the daylight, let me just show you them out in the daylight because obviously not everybody has UV lights. Right, so these are the real ones here. Now, have a look at this band down the right-hand side. You'll also see one on the left-hand side. If you let the light catch it, you can actually see. Can you see the, the band there going down there? Yeah, you see. You see quite clearly there now. But yet you won't get that if you hold these ones in the same position. Yeah? So even without a UV light, you can tell whether or not your stamp has the phosphor on it. Now, there's another thing that most of you have never noticed before, and I've never noticed. Now, let me shine a light on here. Again, real one, fake one. The real stamps will have a kind of hidden source code on them. And you'll think, what? But if you have a look, they start jumping out at you. So you can see it says raw mail everywhere. Raw mail, raw mail, raw mail everywhere. Look here, it doesn't make sense. Royal Mail, but it's not mail, it's M2IL. Can you see there, there's a number two. And have a look at the one underneath it, you will see it will be the same again. Now, that means something. That will mean, for example, is it part of a booklet, uh, the dates and stuff like that. There's hidden things in the background that mean things. And look, it's not just on these ones. Let me go to even, even these ones here, yeah? Even these ones here, these are really, you know, I don't know how old these are now, but it must be about eight years old or something. On here, oh, you can really see the, the phosphor lines there, can't you, when I do that? But let's see if we can find the source code here. Well, I can find it already. Look up here. M14. Let me just get it here. Is that better? M14. Let's do a few more. Now, when it comes to the ones that are not stuck down, these ones won't have the, uh, these ones haven't got any background on. These are not fake. These are real. And you can see the phosphor again on here, here, here and here, yeah? But uh, no, these ones are the ones that you uh, uh, lick yourself to put on. Let's have a look at these ones here. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got three here all stuck down. And even without the light on them, can you see M14L? That's that one there. Let's see if we can find it on this one. M20, look at that, as clear as could be, M20L. And on this one, M20L. Yeah, but yet yeah, you will not find that anywhere on here. There will be no source code. I mean, it's amazing that the fakers would go to the bother of this and then just completely ruin the background and not do source codes and stuff. It's weird. Like, why do fakers only go so far and then call it a day? 
You know, when they could do that extra bit of effort to make it actually look real. I suppose adding the phosphor and stuff is just too much, costs too much money. And, you know, they just do the bare minimum to make it passable. So there you go, some nice little easy ways to tell whether or not you've got fake stamps. Kind of interesting. Now, what are Royal Mail doing about this? Well, they're bringing out these ones now with a barcode. Not quite sure why the barcode makes them harder to forge. I don't know whether, well, in fact, they are all different. Yeah, they are. Look, can you see that that's different than this one, isn't it? And look, that one's there. Ah, so that's interesting. So I, I presume with this barcode, maybe Raw Mail really can trace where they've come from. Also, they'd be able to give customers more features. Maybe they will be able to track normal stamps more. But check this out. If you use your uh, barcode reader on that on the Raw Mail website, it comes up with a little video because this isn't in force yet. These are just being brought out. So let's zoom out a little bit. I'm just going to go into the Raw Mail app and watch this. Scan a barcode stamp. So scan. And let's go to here. There we go. And it will come up with a little video. Obviously, this isn't going to be the future use for this. This is just uh, what's coming up now. I can't show you the video because of copyright. Let me just let it play for a few seconds. So it's Sean the Sheep. There we go. I'll leave it at that. You can watch it. Uh, you can watch it yourself when you buy yourself some barcoded stamps. Uh, obviously, they're the same price as the old ones, but that's what they're going over to. So I presume these are going to be even harder to forge, which is fantastic. Now. What is going to happen when you haven't got your barcoded stamps? Well, you've got up until, I believe, the end of January 2023 to use them all. So, for example, if I don't use these in time, what I can do is I can hand in all my old stamps because, to be fair, I've got quite a few of them left over from eBay days, even though a lot of them are not worth much money. I've, got, I've still got loads, actually. Uh, what I can do is I can fill out a form online and then send the stamps off and they will send me the barcoded versions of the stamps. So yeah, all your stamps have to be used up by, I think it's the 31st of January, 2023, but obviously double check that yourself. But really, really interesting. Before we end the video, should we have a quick look under the microscope? Check this out. Look at the queen herself. Look at all the dots that make up that. And now look at the real one. The dots are much finer, much, much. I mean, look at this necklace here. You could almost count how many pearls are on it. And yet on this one, you'd have no chance. The definition is just not there, is it, when you look close? Ah, oh, this is fascinating. Right, let's look at her nose. Again, you can count the dots underneath where the nostrils are. Let's look at the real one. And you can't count them. Oh, there's just no comparison when you look close. I mean, here you can actually see the definition around the eye. And here you can't, it's just nothingness. It's so obvious it's fake when you start looking. It really is so, so obvious. Look at the difference there. Let's zoom in even more. Okay, so now again, the nose and the uh, profile around the mouth. Really looks very bad. And now the real one, just night and day. I mean, you can actually make out the earring here. And yet on this one, there's just a tiny bit of shade in here. Massively difference. Right, let, let me just get another, uh, let me get a penny one, just to see if the penny one is as good on the definition, I'm sure it is. Yes, yeah, amazing, isn't it? So this is the penny stamp. So it shows you, you know, like, I know people buy stamps to use, but look at the quality that's gone into that on the print. I mean, look at that there. Look at that there compared to that there. It's just awful, isn't it? So yeah, it's really obvious to start when you actually start looking how fake these, these stamps are. So that is it for this video. I've really enjoyed it. Stuff that I never knew about, like the hidden source code. I never even knew about those luminous bits there. I think that's amazing. Even on the penny one, they exist. So uh, it makes me really appreciate the real stamp more when you can see how much better it is than the fake ones. But initially looking at the fake ones, you think they're good. But I, sorry, I know it's fraud, but I mean, it's a good fake, but they're not, are they? When you start looking closely, they're awful compared to this here. And what I love is the fact that somebody's thought about all these things or a team of people have thought about all these things. Stuff that we wouldn't even know about 
is in here and that's what's so nice and when you look closely through the microscope oh my it's just night and day between the two so yeah a new appreciation for the quality of the workmanship that's gone into stamps really enjoyed this video i hope you did too if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you all very soon take care